Hello there, Titan Icarus. Today I'm going to be talking about the new leaked images from Bionicle 2015, all in alphabetical order. Now, as you can see here, this was the first image that was leaked on the ev on the internet, <laughs> on the internet, by some dude, and they said that. Well, some people said that this might be official, but it might be a Photoshop doing. But at first glance, it does seem fake. But when you look closer, you can actually see there are a few different things in there. For instance, uh, Tahu's new look is introduced in, uh, in a viewable uh, format or quality. And in the middle, we see a mystery mask. We have no idea what this mask will be, but some people say it could be the mask of creation. I highly doubt it because this picture right here is basically someone's, you know, version of the mask of creation, and I think it really matches what the description of the mask is. But we also see Makuta's eyes. Now we all know that Makuta it was the main antagonist of the Bionicle series, and we also discovered that there's not just one, but an entire brotherhood. Makuta's not just a name. It is a, as some people call it, like a clan tagger, you know, group tagger. Join my clan! Can I have recon? Oh my god! You get the point. And so what kind of name is Pterodax? It sounds like Pterodactyl. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to what you were waiting for. My analysis of the new leaked images in alphabetical order. Okay, so starting off the list, we have the Protector of Earth which is set number 70781, 60 pieces, ages 6 to 12, which is only a suggestion. And we also see the Lego Bionicle logo with the Mask of Life added as well. This might be a placeholder, but it might not. So the Protector of Earth, or Earth Protector, is supposed to be um, in a purple color scheme with bits of black and white in there and he has one of the weapons that resembles the one from the Green Lantern set from Lego DC superheroes and it also has a spider-like creature which is said to be a new form of the Karata so they're referring or reverting back to the original Rakshi you know creatures maybe I don't know up next we have the Protector of Fire, set number 70783, ages 6 to 12, 63 pieces. It it is also it also includes a glow in the dark Karata, I think. It also has a machine gun and two fire blades, and it is in a color scheme of red, orange, and a bit of silver. From the size of it, I think it is considered a small set. This is probably one of the, I think the protectors are supposed to be the smaller sets, while the Toa are the bigger sets. Apparently they're not calling them Toa anymore, they're calling them Masters. Why? I don't know. Also, the protectors uh, face masks or whatever they are, they are all the same, but they're just in different colors. Up next we have Toa Galley, or in this case, Galley Master of Water. And it is set number 70786, 87 pieces, and it's said to include that, you know, spider thing as well. I don't know if it will include it, it might, it might not, I'm not sure. But this one does not have a background as well. So, from the looks of it, she has a axe sort of weapon, or like Hypoon or Triton. And her mask looks nothing like her original one. Uh, here's a comparison. The original uh, Kanoe mask that she wore looked more like a breathing mask. It was the mask of breathing. But this one looks more like a mix between the Mystica and the Kanoe Nuva mask of breathing. Or water breathing. And I see a bit mix of old and new pieces in there. And I think that looks kind of cool. But at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm just going to wait. Because, well, I'm obviously going to get all the sets. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to as well, but so far, I think Galley would not be a primary buy, 
I mean, I already have the first three galley sets, but I might get this one at, at first, I think. Also, Toa Galley's color scheme is a lot different from the original. Instead of like a regular blue, it is a more, it's more of a cyan color. So that's pretty interesting why uh, Lego would do that. Here we have the Protector of Ice, set number 70782, 62 pieces, and it is in a color scheme of, well, transparent blue, a lot of white, and a bits of, you know, black in there. But I, I kind of do like this one's weapon. It is, it's probably the same as the ones from the Hero Factory, but it's also with like a gear uh, system, which hasn't been seen in a while in these kind of sets. And so I'm glad they're bringing the gear systems back. And he also has um, another, like, sort of SMG or machine gun on his arm, just like uh, the fire protector did, except it was on his shoulder. And it also includes the uh, little spider thing again. Looks like a skull. And here we have the protector of jungle. Jungle? What? Alright, seven, number 70778. It is 64 pieces. And this one includes a crossbow sort of weapon. A machine gun thing. I don't. I don't know. It, it seems that they're reusing the. It looks like the lightning pieces from the uh, one of the Hero Factory brain attack sets, um, and they're also using the uh, little vine pieces for, you know, foot uh, miscellaneous, and it includes like another one of those like, glow in the dark skull spiders, and. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I I could buy it. I mean, I don't know. Now we have Toa Kopaka, or Kopaka, Master of Ice. Why is that a thing now? Set number 70788. It is 98 pieces. Um, and he has two cool weapons. He has a ice spear and a shield, similar to that of his Toa Nuva loadout, which was a you know, sort of double-bladed uh, spear of sorts and a shield. And I'm thinking of buying this one at first, at, like first, like one of the first things I would buy. And also his, uh, his, uh, his mask has not changed at all. I mean, there are a bit, a few changes, but other, other than that, it's the exact same mask from 2001. And he also has a bits of uh, goldish yellow and uh, transparent blue. Next, we have Toa Lewa, or Lewa Master of Jungle. Seriously, they're changing the air element to jungle? What? Okay, this is another one that also has a background. And it is 70784, that's the set number. 85 pieces, and he is in a green, Toa Mata green color scheme with bits of silver and yellow. I'm liking his torso piece, but his mask? Um, I'm not sure about his mask. I mean, it includes the golden version, apparently. And you can see it looks almost nothing like the original. Looks more like a mix of the Fantoka and, uh, let's see, Toa Nuva mask, the Kanoe Miru. And he includes two axes, which kind of look cool. And, of course, another spider. And here we have uh, Skull Krata, set number 70790, 149 pieces. Um, I'm kind of liking this set. It's apparently the, well, supposed to be the king or queen of the skull, like, spider things. Krata. Uh, I don't know. And it includes, like, another golden spider piece, I don't know. I have arachnophobia, so whatever. Next is Onua, uh, set number 70789, 109 pieces. Uh, apparently this is this is almost close to the amount of pieces the Skullcrata has, probably not as big. Um, apparently this is a really big set, like in size, and he has Mostly a black color scheme with bits of purple, gold, and silver. He has a giant hammer axe thing. I don't... <laughs> I'm a Bionicle fan, but I have no idea what that thing is. Look at it. 
Zoom on that thing. Pan in. Oh my god. <laughs> ugly. It's just an ugly big toy. Master of Earth. What kind of stupid thing is that? And another spider thing. I'm feeling lightheaded already. And uh, here we have Toa Pohatsu, or Pohatsu Master of Stone. Set number 70785, 65 pieces. He looks less like a Toa of Stone and more like a Toa of Jet Propelled Boomerangs. <laughs> Is that what they are? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, th those look like uh, some sort of boomerangs. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they look like boomerangs to me, like really giant ones. He's mostly a white color scheme with a bit of, like, brown. That's not really a Toa Mata brown, I wouldn't say, but it's brown nonetheless. And has bits of black in there. But also his mask, um, it looks, uh, a little bit like the Fantoka, or Fantaka, how you would pronounce it, uh, sort of mask of speed. Um, I'm glad they're going back to the mask thing, but I don't know. Yeah, and he also has like a bit of a transparent arm. I don't know why they're doing the whole transparent thing with these... And I see a Rakshi thing in the back is the, 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 the spear! And then immediately after we have the Protector of Stone, set number 707796 pieces. Also has a transparentish arm, very small in size, and apparently another trident in so view. They're using the lightning pieces. That's pretty much it. And we have Tahu, Master of Fire, or Toa Tahu. Set number 70787, uh, 99 pieces. And from the looks of this, the Bionicle sets are going to have back coverings, unlike the Hero Factory sets. And I am loving this one. It is the best looking. Bionicle set so far. He has mostly a red Toamata color scheme with bits of gold on there. And uh, he has a mix of not just the surfboard thing, but he also has two golden blades. It is a sort of mix between the Toamata and the Toanuva loadout. And I really love this set. Um, I, think I, I think this is the first set I would buy. Not just because I have, like, Tahu and all that, but this is a really good-looking set. But I also noticed that his eyes are blue. I don't know if that's going to be in the actual set or if that's just for the box art. And it also apparently includes a golden, uh, Kanoe Hal. And apparently they're not even changing it a single bit, except for, like, the whole, you know, shape and overall. But the designs are not changing at all. So I like that. I like that a lot. And last and definitely least... The Protector of Water, set number 70780, and 65 pieces. Apparently, it's like uh, the Hero Factory Ferno set, you know, with the... Oh my god, this is unscripted, yet I'm messing up all the time. It has a color scheme of cyan and white and black. It has another spider, and that's pretty much it. Blah. And that is my analysis for the leaked images from Bionicle 2015. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. Um, just one more thing, LEGO will be announcing something big this Friday. Any guesses? Uh, tell me in the comments below, and uh, be sure to share this video with uh, some fellow friends of yours that are Bionicle fans, so they can know what is to what they're to expect. And that's pretty much it.